Hi guys, welcome. My name is Moritz and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Trality. And today I just want to take you on a real quick walkthrough of the Trality Code Editor. The Code Editor, as you know, uh, is essentially the heart and soul of Trality. It targets those quants, those data scientists, those developers that use their Python skills to build the most profitable and most performant trading bots on our platform. There's also some alternatives for people that don't have the time or the experience to use Python, but uh, we'll focus on those alternatives in uh, other videos. For now, let's jump right in and uh, just go on a quick tour of the Trality Code Editor. So if you enter the Trality Creator Tools, you can click on Create a New Bot and you can select Code and name your bot, Code Example. You can also select, have to select an exchange on which to trade on. Let's take Binance because it's the biggest that we're connected to. And you select a quoted asset. Let's use BUSD because it actually has the highest volume on, on Binance. And if we click create, we actually end up in the heart and soul, the Trality Code Editor. Now, if you come to the code editor for the first time, you actually see a bunch of templates that you can choose uh, to work off. And I always recommend this to, to beginners in our code editor simply because it gives you a good overview. We have very simple TA-based strategies here. We have some more complex ones like multiple intervals, multiple symbols, and some more specific ones at the bottom. Let's start actually with the multiple intervals ones because it gives a pretty good overview over the functionality. So as you can see, um, every code in the Trality Code Editor essentially starts with a schedule decorator. And it is run on a specified time interval and it receives symbol data. We call these annotated functions handlers, but you can call them basically whatever you want. They just have to take two arguments. The first one we call state and the second one we call data. Um, the second one will always receive the symbol data for the interval that you specify. So in this particular bot, we trade BTC USDT and we actually specify two handlers, one handler long, and this runs on one hour intervals. And a little bit further down, we schedule a second handler, um, define a second handler that we call handler short, and it runs on 15 minute intervals. All right, so in the first step of our algorithm, what we do is we're building the functionality to identify a trend. And what we do there is we're essentially using the first of our two handlers, the handler long, remember that's the one running on one hour intervals. And we're defining two exponential moving averages, a long one and a short one. The long one has a look back period of 40 candles and the short one of 15 candles. And then what we're saying essentially is if, um, the EMA short is larger than the EMA long, then we're in an uptrend and else we're in a downtrend. And then the second part of our algorithm is what we find down here in the second handler. Remember, that's the one that's running on 15 minute candles. And there we're adding a little bit of additional strength to our, uh, to our logic, to our strategy by adding an RSI. And essentially we're defining the buy and the sell signals. We're doing this down here. And what we're saying is that if our first handler, handler long says we're in an uptrend, then, and the RSI is below 40. And we're also having two additional checks of whether we have enough assets to buy and we don't have an open position, then open a market order for the amount specified above, also adding a print statement. And in the other case, if the above defined handler long says we're in a downtrend and the RSI is above 60 and we have an open position, then close that position. And this is really the heart and soul, the brain of our strategy as we have defined it. At the bottom, we're also adding a couple of additional print statements just for better logging and debugging. And really what the next step is, is we're looking over to the right-hand side of our screen and this, the 
uh, Trality Backtester. The Backtester is really cool because it runs solely in the browser. So at the beginning, once you have to pick the data from the, the server, but after that, it runs super, super quickly. So what we can do here is basically define a time window on which to trade, uh, to, to backtest. Let's just take the last half a year and click on backtesting. And that's it. That's the first backtest that we've done together. Um, you can see that the strategy did okay given the current bear market environment. The overall benchmark total return during those six months would have been uh, minus 35 0.7%. So our strategy did okay, but it also did 88 trades during that time period. I would say that's roughly on the upper end of an average strategy. So we could work on being a little bit more restrictive with our trades as soon as we go back into the code and sort of try to improve it. And that's really what you do. You basically go to the code, you work and improve it, you go to the back tester, you use the uh, previous results as well as version section where you can then compare to previous results and even restore previous versions. And one more thing I want to point you to is actually one of the features that we previously just released um, just now that is called the optimizer. And the optimizer can be found here under advanced settings. And essentially what it does is it automates the parameter optimization process. So parameters such as, for example, the lookback period of your EMA, you can now automatically grid search so that the best parameter can be found by this optimizer. And this is really, really cool. One of the cool features we just released to our community. If you go to the templates, you can actually find an optimizer code example down here, and it shows you exactly how to define the parameters so that they can optimi the optimizer can work on it. And I think that's something uh, really, really cool. Um, the other thing I want to point you to is, of course, the Trality Docs. Uh, this is really a uh, vast array of information you can find specifically to the code editor and more specifically uh, to the Trality API. So really everything you can need is to be found here. And this should really help you to get started on building a trading uh, bot that is profitable. Uh, another thing that I want to point you to is, of course, our awesome Trality community. And this is what you can find on our Discord server. There is even a dedicated uh, code editor channel where lots of like-minded quants, developers, and people who are interested in the topic share their ideas and, and give feedback. So this is really, really awesome. But now, of course, Trality doesn't just exist for you to build bots and test them, but it actually uh, exists in order for you to be able to trade. So what you do once you're satisfied with the results of your testing is you actually go here and click on Start Bot. And this is where you first create a version of your bot and so that you always are up to date with the version that you're deploying. And once you click on next, you actually have the option of virtual trading or live trading. So essentially, to every new user, I always recommend at the beginning, once you have a new bot, start with virtual trading. Click on virtual trading here and select, if you want to do it a quick way, just one of the pre-selected virtual accounts that we provide to you. This one has 10,000 BUSD. You can agree to uh, the backtesting purposes and start this bot. And this will then run a virtual instance of that bot that you just created on the Trality platform so that you can forward test and monitor its results. So this brings you to the beautiful dashboard that we have. And if you scroll down all the way, you don't see much because my face is in the way, but if we move myself over here, you actually see the bot that we just deployed a couple of seconds ago. And at the moment, it doesn't have any data to work with, but once uh, it has been running for a few um, instances, you can actually see uh, all the data and the performance of that bot here in the detailed view. Let me just go back to one of the bots that has been running for a longer time. So this one has been running for four months, for example. You can see the performance and monitor, and you can actually also go to the executions and see that your bot is still alive and running. And lastly, of course, uh, we also have a possibility to live trade. So once you're satisfied, once your bot has been running for a couple of days or weeks, you can head over to the creator tools again. You can select your bot. And if you click again on the deploy bot button, you can this time proceed with live trading. And in this case, you have the option to select an account, which I have in this case previously already connected. If you don't have one connected, you can click on create new account, connect your Binance 
or any other exchange account with the API keys that you get on, the, on that account. And if you click proceed, it will ask you to acknowledge that you know the risks of live trading. And once you do, you click on start bot, you actually launched your first live bot on Trality and it brings you back to our dashboard and scrolling down, you can now see your live bot. Again, it's waiting for a couple of executions to take place so that it has enough data for you to show it as progress, but this is where you will find your bot. So this was it, a very quick run through of the code editor and how to build a bot, how to test it, how to use the optimizer and how to deploy it for live trading. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.